All right, so I've had this Honda CRF70 for about seven years now, and for the past two, the front forks have been leaking, and I've just been putting it off. So I'm deciding to rebuild them, put new seals in it. But I also ordered upgraded uh, the springs that go inside and a heavier weight oil. So you can hear, or hear and see just how bad that is. Same with the rear, the rear's blown out. The air shock, I guess it's an air and a spring in there. Well, whatever, but I gotta replace both. So, up first things first, I gotta do these front. Here, let me jump this berm and I'll show you. Alright, so once the forks are off, there's a little Allen key at the very bottom that you should undo and drain out of the oil so you don't get a mess everywhere. So you gotta split them apart. Just like that. Alright, now what the plan is is to take off these nuts and have access to the springs inside of here. All right, there was some springiness, just some tension held in. But these you'll have to clean up because there's a seal on them. Now, it's nice and simple. That spring slides out. Okay, those just slid right out. Here are the two old ones you can see. Same spring, same spring, same spring. And then at the very bottom, it looks similar to this guy, just a lot thinner. It does not matter which way these go in. All right, so here it's a two-piece seal. These go in first, right up here, and then those go in. But these guys have springs, so you gotta be really careful. You can kinda see it in there, silver. This is the only thing that it comes with, but it looks like Right after that first seal, there's a little clip. And it looks like, since there's just a clip behind that, you can just pop this off with a screwdriver. Okay, you can see right there and right there, a the little clip. I believe you just squeeze in, like with two screwdrivers, and then that seal inside pops out. Okay, to, so to get these seals out after you get that uh, snap ring out, really simple. Just stick a screwdriver in kind of in the middle, like right at the very bottom of that, and pry up, and it pops out. So this was the one fork that was leaking badly, and it was all milky in there. So that's another reason not to Leave it like that. If oil can get out, water can get in. All right, I don't even know what size socket this is, but this is almost the perfect size uh, for the seal. Just because it has a spring in it, you don't want to mess it up. This is similar to like car engine seals and lawnmower engine seals like in the sump. So the spring gets face down in these I got this stuff, it was just on their website. Just use it, lube up both services and inside the seals. Okay, so that's all in there with oil. I got this like perfect size socket here. And you can tap on that. Okay, so in here you want to go just below that little surface in there. That way those snap rings can go back in and it's flush. Another thing is, is when you're hammering, there's going to be that little guy that comes out that sits at the very bottom. You're going to want to put that in skinny side up 
and it's kind of gonna want to rest there. And what I found is using these old springs and pushing down, it'll seat itself back in. It's kind of hard to explain. If it actually happens to you while you're hammering in the seal, you'll you'll understand. And actually, perfect way to demonstrate how I did that. They just pop in and out. All right. So these go to the very top of the uh, triple clamps, and this is the bottom of the fork. So clearly, these have to go up to the top. right in. Oh my god, <laughs> they're a lot stiffer already. Okay. All right, so these forks, they need 75 cc's of the fork oil. Two and a half ounces? So that's what we're gonna put in about, well, probably more than two and a half, bigger rider. Put the bolt in the bottom, and I actually can take the bolt off the top. I didn't need to uh, put that back on. But the bolt on the bottom, that has a copper crush ring. That has to be really cleaned nicely because that's what's actually sealing everything up. That's what's holding it. They're not half inch, three eighths inch Milwaukee, in fact. Let's do this. These I didn't make too tight, but you know. I made them pretty tight. Okay, so with the first compression on these, they seem a lot stiffer. Okay, so it's a little hard to show on camera, but these front springs, springs and I guess oil, are a lot stiffer. I was riding it around probably like two hours the other day, and uh, just, crazy amount stiffer. Now it makes the back look really weak. But you can see before I could push this down with my hand all the way down. Now, you know, it's barely budging. So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but when I'm jumping it or uh, wheeling it and coming down, it's a really good thing. That's how I originally blew them out the first time. I'd wheelie and I come down really hard, so. But yeah, I'm really happy with those springs and the oil and the seals. So, it was pretty easy to do. Definitely a good choice.